Back on the road, we are off back to Montreal, and that's where we're gonna spend the next couple days. Tons of presentations, a uh, little meet and greet action at Popeyes. Gonna get a workout in with my boy Alain right now. Gonna drive, and then we are gonna find a place to destroy legs. That's all I'm thinking about, leg day. All right, just checked in. We're at the Novotel, hotel near the airport. Simple room, she'll do. I just gotta train legs. I'm pretty desperate right now. So uh, I saw the gym downstairs, not looking too sexy. Looked better in the photos. I'm gonna see if we can get to a gym close by. Otherwise, this is gonna be a tricky leg day. Oh, I'm psyched. I didn't just find a gym, I found the gym. I'm at Monster Gym here in Montreal, near the airport, and I'm freaking psyched. This is where the big boys of Montreal play. So I'll just go in the corner quietly and use the leg press a little bit, okay. This is exactly what I was looking for. This gym is just freaking dope. Old school, freaking hardcore legs. It's gonna get nasty in here. Got a beautiful leg workout in. Mostly the compound movements, some deadlifts, some squats, some leg press. Oh, I did a lot of leg press. That was freaking awesome. Just wanted to get a good, good sweat on. Uh, yeah, mission accomplished. Now I'm gonna eat, then I'm gonna have a cheat meal because I feel like I'm uh, behind on calories right now, so I'll probably go get a nice burger somewhere. I put it out on social media to find out where the best burger in town is. I'm sure I'll get some good answers. And then a uh, big presentation tonight for NutraZone, and then big presentation in the morning for Popeyes, and again on Sunday morning for Popeyes. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Well, it's just about time to go for the presentation, but all I can think about is the burger that I'm about to have at the Burger Bar downtown in Montreal, and I'm so freaking psyched. It's one of those old school diner kind of places. They have some sick looking treats. So I chose Burger Bar, downtown here in Montreal, and the menu looks insane. Uh, hope you guys like this little refeed. I don't want one. What's up everybody? Saturday morning. It's, uh, it's a little earlier than I was expected to be up, but uh, I wanted to get my cardio in this morning so I could be all fired up for a big presentation. So let's go. You know how, you know how we get this done. So in my opinion, this is the most important cardio. The morning after a cheat meal. This is the cardio I'll never miss. I want to be back to normal as fast as possible. I want to get my metabolism sparked up. I want to feel good. Uh, not that I don't feel good, I feel good this morning. But sometimes after a cheat meal, you can feel heavy. So getting that cardio in will help you feel so much better. First of all, mad props to this hotel. 
for not having the air conditioning blasting in this room. Whenever I get into these rooms, they're always freaking freezing cold. Now, I know it's just because this hotel are a bunch of cheap bums, but I still respected it because that allowed me to get a killer sweat on. Remember, when you are doing this kind of cardio, you want to be soaked. If you aren't getting soaked, you're not working hard enough. Figure out a way to work harder. You saw I was at the 15 incline, 3.4 miles per hour for 40 minutes. That got me soaked. Now part of that is, well, a big part is, of course I'm soaked in drip fit. It's critical. Second, I'm wearing the drip fit band. And third, because I had that big cheat meal last night, my body was aching to sweat it out. So it's critical after a cheat meal, you got to get your mind right. You might feel sluggish. You got to tell your brain, no, 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 no. We're using that new energy source, that huge amount of carbs to go fuel us for our workout, for our cardio. And we got to get it done. We got to get it done right. So you got to get your mind in the game. Well, I didn't pack enough clothes. And when I'm looking for a nice presentation shirt that is clearly too tight and doesn't fit me properly, there's only one place I turn to. What's up everybody? Super excited to head into Popeyes here. We're gonna have some fun, we're gonna take some photos, and I know we got a killer staff on here as always. Let's go check a look. How's my day? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have his abs there, but I'm, I'm close, I'm close. <laughs> Yeah, get it, get it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm here at my favorite place in Brossard, EPN Nutrition, with my boy Elaine and Emily. I was supposed to get in this big pec workout with Elaine. He contacts me as I'm on my way over here that he's bailing on me, like a total jerk. So I'm gonna go hit it anyway, and I'm gonna show you guys around this place. I freaking love this place. Uh, if you're in Brossard, this is the place to come. They've got amazing trainers. Use these guys as trainers. Get your supplements here. Get your Magnum here. Let's have a good time. I get a lot of training in. This is a life about balance. I get my workouts in, I get my business in, I get my meals in. I've made this priority. You gotta just decide what's important to you in life. This is what I love. I love how I feel, I love how I look every single day because of this lifestyle. I feel freaking great every time I'm in there. And you guys have followed me around for a while now. You know I feel good day and night. I sleep better than most people. I digest my food better than most people. Everything is awesome if you find the balance that you enjoy. It is a choice. It is a choice. It's little choices every single day. It's little routines every day. The better you get at them, the more you do, the better you'll get and the easier it is. So just start today. One little thing today. One little workout today. Get it started. I'm here for you. Let's do this together. 
was so disappointed that Elaine would not come and work out with me out of fear. Um, but let, you know, he showed up here at the end. Uh, I'll, I'll let him tell you, uh, you what was going through his mind, really. Oh, Marcus, I am so sorry. I am too good looking to work out with you and I am very scared. I am Elaine. It's Saturday at 4.30 p.m. Montreal, your city is a mess. I don't know what makes this trip so different, but this trip more than any other trip uh, I've been on as an entrepreneur reminds me of how lonely the entrepreneurial life is. For every hour that you see me uh, at the Olympia or at the Arnold surrounded by my awesome team or surrounded by the awesome people that I'm surrounded by in my business and in my social media life. That's good sushi. There's hundreds of hours of lonely dinners, uh, lonely times on the road, lonely times just buried in my office, lonely times on holidays when everybody else has the day off and, and I'm working. I wanna be really clear, I'm far from complaining. Uh, you guys know this, I freaking love my life. I love being an entrepreneur, I love running my own business. And honestly, I've developed this introvert side of me over the years that appreciates the alone time because the alone time is when I get to work with the hardest worker I know. <laughs> and uh, so a couple last things before we wrap up the night. Number one, uh, I wanna know what you guys' opinion is of the beard. I'm struggling with the decision of keeping it or not, so please leave a comment, let me know. Beard or no beard? Uh, second, I wanna give a shout out to a few of my notification crew. Uh, Mark Sion Roberts, Anthony Gomez, thank you boys for always having your notifications on, always making comments. If you guys haven't received a shout out from me yet, don't worry, it's coming. If you want a shout out from me, turn on notifications and make sure you're one of the first people to comment. It means a great deal to me and I wanna thank you guys so much. Tomorrow, we got one more big presentation then we're getting on a plane back home. I'm very psyched to see my family, but we're gonna have a great day in Montreal tomorrow. It's gonna be fun. You know when you're just sometimes in the mood for that extra workout? Why not just do it? I'll take tomorrow off. I'm just listening to my body, my body saying, let's get her done, bro. Listen to your body. Yeah, my body now is saying, oh, we're done and we need a day off. Eight good workouts in four days. I'm feeling like a freaking champ. Let's go home. So what did we learn about Marcus this trip? First of all, this guy loves working out. I love smiling <laughs> and I love eating. Uh, I hate Montreal driving. Oh my goodness, was that horrendous. Five days is too long to be away from my family. And I love what I do. <laughs> <laughs>